So today, we are finding the mean absolute deviation, or the MAD, of a data set. So the mean absolute deviation is the average distance between each data value and the mean. Okay, so when we have a data set, what we need to do is, well, three steps. First, find the mean of the whole data set. Then, figure out how far each of these data values is away from the mean, and then take those distances and find the average of those, okay? So let's do this example here, okay? We've got 10 data values here, and the first step is to find the mean. And of course, to find the mean, we have to start by adding them all up. So 24 plus 25 plus 26 plus 27 plus 28 plus 38 plus 40 plus 42 plus 43 plus 47. I've got 340 for the sum. And we're going to divide it by how many data values there are. There's 10 data values. So that tells us the mean is 34. Okay? So there's our first step. Find the mean of the whole data set. Step two, we need to find the distance of each data value from the mean. Okay, now it does say absolute deviation. So what that means is we're not going to take into account positive or negative. We're just going to think about how far away it is. For example, 24 is 10 away from the mean. So its absolute deviation is 10. And you don't have to worry about it being 10 below. We're just going to know that it's 10 away from it. Same with 25. 25 is 9 away. 26, that is 8 away. 27, that's 7 away. 28 is 6 away. Now, 38 and 34, those are 4 away. Even though that's 4 above, it doesn't matter because we're talking about absolute deviation. 40 and 34, that's 6 away. 42 and 34, that's 8 away. 43 and 34, they're 9 apart. And 47 and 34, they're 13 apart. Okay, so those are all our absolute deviations. Okay, so step one, step two, and our last step, step three, is we're gonna find the mean of all of these deviations. Okay, so again, we're gonna need the calculator. Here we go, 10, oops, 10 plus nine plus eight plus seven plus six plus four plus six plus eight plus nine plus 13 gives me 80 divided by 10 data values. So the mean of all those numbers is eight. And that is our mean absolute deviation. Now what that tells us is, on average, our data values are eight away from the mean, okay? So what that gives us is kind of a number that tells us just how spread out our data values are, all right? So that's the mean absolute deviation. Step one, find the mean of the whole data set. Step two, find how far apart each of these data values are away from that mean. And then step three, find the mean of those distances, okay? So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.